Libya's interim leader Mustafa Abdul Jalil has issued an ultimatum to towns still loyal to Colonel Gaddafi. Surrender by Saturday or face a full military assault. The warning includes Colonel Gaddafi's hometown, Sirt, which rebel forces have now virtually surrounded. A number of Gaddafi's family are now in Algeria. The Algerian government says they were allowed in on humanitarian grounds. But an interim government spokesman in Tripoli described Algeria's actions as an act of aggression. Middle East correspondent Ben Knight reports from Tripoli. It was a close encounter for two Gaddafi loyalists with an outcome that could have been much worse. <laughs> Travelling between Misrata and the Gaddafi stronghold of Sirt, they come across a rebel checkpoint. As they attempt to flee, the rebels open fire. One man is injured and waits for his attackers, but the other makes a run for it. Eventually, he gives up as well. They'd come from Sirat, he says. They were just checking the road. The two were taken back to Misrata, where they'll be held by rebel forces. Makeshift prisons are being set up across the country for captured pro-Gaddafi fighters. This one's in a converted school in Tripoli. The guards here say many of those captured were forced to fight for Gaddafi against their will. And after interrogation, they're allowed to go free. But not all of those fighting for Muammar Gaddafi appear to be so lucky. The chairman of the African Union Commission has accused the rebels of targeting black Africans. Seems to confuse black people with mercenaries. All blacks are mercenaries. If you do that, which means one third of the population of Libya, which is bad, which is black, is also mercenaries. They are killing people normal workers. However, he said that the African Union was still ready to work with NATO to bring about elections and democracy in Libya. Despite the gains made by the rebels, that goal remains in the future. They're slowly closing in on Sirt, the last bastion of support for Colonel Gaddafi, and they're expecting a big fight. Uh, without a doubt, there will be a big battle because they are loyal to the tyrant and we're now forced to use weapons against them. In the recently captured town of Binjawad, rebels have consolidated their position and are now awaiting orders. We will move further, but we will not enter Sirt now because it is not secured so far. There are ongoing negotiations between the tribe elders in Sirt and rebel leaders. And with the end inevitably drawing nearer, Members of Colonel Gaddafi's family are taking the opportunity to escape. The Algerian Foreign Minister has released a statement saying that Muammar Gaddafi's wife, Sophia, two of his sons, Hannibal and Mohammed, and his daughter Aisha have crossed the border into Algeria. Rebels have long accused Algeria of providing support to Colonel Gaddafi throughout this six-month conflict, and they've vowed to get the family back and have them face court. Especially for Hannibal, uh, if he flee to Al Jazeera and the, the, the Algeria authorities allowed him to do that, we'll consider this as an aggressive act against Libyan uh, people wish. The fate of another of the dictator's sons is up for speculation. A rebel commander says that Khamis Gaddafi was badly wounded in a clash near Tripoli and died of his wounds in hospital. Khamis was the commander of the unit alleged to be responsible for the deaths of more than a hundred prisoners earlier this week. Colonel Gaddafi's sons were deeply involved in this war, commanding some of the most feared battalions in the country. And every day, more evidence of the atrocities committed by the regime is coming to light. It's quite possible that more members of the Gaddafi family, including those who fled to Algeria, are going to be indicted by the International Criminal Court. Ben Knight, Lateline.